In this code demonstration, we're going to take a look at the count by function provided by the underscore JS code library. Now to make use of the underscore JS code library, you first have to include it in your web page like I've done here. I'm including it from a popular CDN, but you can also download a, a local copy of it to your web server and reference it that way as well. Now, what count by basically does is it's very similar to a group by operation where basically you're looking for uh, rows of data or objects of, of data that have the same value for a particular property and then basically grouping them by that, by that value. Well, in count by, instead of actually um, displaying all of the details for each row, we're basically doing a count. So, for example, if I've got five rows and one of the properties for each row is color and I have five rows with the same color, then my count by would be five because I would have five with that same color. So what we're going to do here is we're going to basically use count by to basically analyze some information that we're going to extract from a table. So if we go to our web browser, we're going to see that we have a table of data. So I've got six names on a bunch of ages, and I've got some city information and gender information. So what I want to do is I want to use count by to basically count the number of people per city. Now, if we look at this, we actually have two people in Atlanta, two people in Dublin, and two people in San Diego. So ultimately, in this case, count by is going to return back to us three rows, one for Atlanta, one for Dublin, and one for San Diego, and each one of those is going to have two. So let's take a look at the code to do that. I'm going to say var people group, actually we'll call it uh, people city group. Say underscore dot count by. And then we're going to pass in people. And then we're going to specify the field upon which we actually want to do the grouping. In this case, we want to do it on city. So we're going to save that. And then we're going to do console.dir, people city group. And we're going to save it like this. Now let's go ahead and reload our page. We're going to see we get an object down here in our console. Go back over to our console here. Scroll in a little bit. Take a look, we have Atlanta 2, Dublin 2, and San Diego 2. We could also do the same thing with gender if we'd like. We could do, instead of saying city, we'll say gender, 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 and we'll save that and reload. Expand out the object, and we see we have two females and four males. But we can actually do something a little more sophisticated than just even looking at a simple property value. We can actually take our object and run it through a function that will actually return back a value for us. So let's say I want to group people according to age, but I want to do it by age range. I'm going to say our people age group underscore dot count by people, but now I'm going to have a function. Now this function accepts three parameters. The first one is going to be the actual person that I'm iterating over. The next one is going to be index, and then finally the original uh, list of people. All right. For our purposes here though, we're really only interested in the specific person object that we're working with. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get the age of the person as a float. We're going to say parse float person.age, just like this. And now, what I want to do is I basically want to set this up so that I can say like from age 10 to 19 or age 20 to 29, that type of thing. Now to do this, I'm going to say f age is equal to f age divided by 10.0. And then I'm going to say f age is equal to math.floor f age. So let's say the person was 22. I divide that by 10, that comes out to 2.2. And then the floor will take the 2.2 and make it a value of 2. And then finally, I want to take f age 
and I want to say uh, FH times 10, and that will bring that back up to 20. And then using that, I'm going to return a string here. I'm going to say string FH plus, we'll say 2 plus string, and then we'll say FH plus 9. All right. So now when we run this, we're going to basically group everybody in these age ranges. So I'm going to grab my, whoop, I'm going to grab my console dir here. Come down here and say people age group and save that. Jump over to our web browser, reload. We'll see down here, we're going to say that we have two people in the age range of 20 to 29, 2 and 30 to 39, and 4 and 40 to 49. And if we take a look, there we go, our two 30-year-olds, our two 20-year-olds, and our two 40-year-olds. So as you can see, this count by function is actually quite useful for extracting out um, uh, basically group by information, but doing it more of an, in a summary or aggregate form um, and being able to get those totals.